So in the last lesson, we made our first asynchronous task, and that was to fetch the tasks initially so that when we refresh the page, we see that loading message for a second while we load the tasks from the JSON file, and that serves up the initial data for us. Now, at the minute, if we toggle these favorites or even delete some of these and then refresh, none of those changes are persisted to that JSON file. So when we refresh, we're getting that initial data again. So what I'd like to do is make these other actions where we delete a task and also toggle a favorite asynchronous as well to update that JSON file. So we're persisting those changes. And that means that then whenever we refresh, we're just fetching the JSON file, which has already been updated and we see the updated data. So over in the store, we have three tasks that we want to make asynchronous. So let's just work through these one at a time. So first of all, add task, pop async in front of it. And then down here, after we've added the tasks to the state or the single task to the state, we also want to reach out to the JSON file to add that task as well. So we'll say const response is equal to await fetch. And then we want to put in the same endpoint right here, this thing. So let me copy that and paste it in here because we're making a post request to this endpoint. And then as a second argument, oops, that should be a comma. We need some options for this request because this is going to be a post request. So we need to say the method is post like so. And also we need to send a body and the body is just going to be the task, this thing right here, but it needs to be in JSON format. So we say JSON stringify and then pass in the task like so. Okay. And then finally, we need one more, which is the headers. So let's say headers is going to be, and then it's content type that we want. So content hyphen type, and that's going to be application JSON. So application forward slash JSON like so. So that's making a post request to add this new task to the JSON. And that's pretty much all we need to do. But if there is an error, I want to log that to the console. So we'll say if response.error then we'll output something to the console, console.log, and it's going to be the response.error property. Okay, so that's pretty much it for add task. Now, what I'm going to do is copy this bit of code and I'm going to paste it right down here for delete task. So we need to do a similar thing. First of all, we'll say async in front of delete task. And then the method this time is going to be delete. Now, we don't need to pass in these things right here because we're not sending data to it, but the endpoint needs to be different. It needs to have on a forward slash and then at the end, the ID of the thing we want to delete. And we have the ID, we take it in as an argument right here. So we just need to tack it onto the end. And that's pretty much it. Again, we output the error if there is one. All right, so finally, toggle fave, async. And I'm going to paste all this stuff in again. And this time it's going to be a patch request and json.stringify. Okay, so we need to basically pass in an object here with any of the properties we want to update. All we want to update is the is fave property. So we say the is fave property right here is going to be equal to task. Oops, let's get this right. Is fave. So it's equal to the task dot is fave property. And that's already been updated right here. So we've updated it and we're passing that updated value right here to update in the JSON file. We keep that in as well. And this again is the endpoint of forward slash plus the ID that we have, which we take in right here. So I think my friends, that is pretty much it. We'll log out the error if there is one as well. So let's save this now and preview in a browser. All right, so let me hard refresh first of all to refetch the initial tasks. That works. Now let me delete this one because I really can't be bothered mowing the lawn. And also let me favorite this and unfavorite this one. And if I refresh, we should see this now as the initial state because when we're performing these other actions to delete and toggle the favorite, they're now asynchronous and they're making changes to that JSON file. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is gonna work. Refresh and voila, it does work. Let me hard refresh. Yep. All works. Awesome. 